Today, the House Budget Committee questioned the acting budget director about the plan. It proposes $2.7 trillion in cuts to domestic programs related to education, health, and environmental science. Democrats say the budget would seriously hurt the middle class. It was criticized for the deep spending cuts to public aid programs in the president's $4.7 trillion budget. Kentucky Congressman John Yarmuth says proposed cuts to education, health care, and welfare programs would be devastating to millions. President Trump's 2020 budget proposal calls for fresh cuts to Medicaid and, of course, the repeal of Obamacare. Save Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security without cuts. Have to do it. The only Republican president who ever promised to never cut Medicare completely reversed himself today. The concerns on the budget repealing the Affordable Care Act with proposed cuts in science and medical research funds for New York area facilities. These would have a very negative impact on those treatments and clinical trials that are showing great, great promise uh, towards saving lives and saving money. Well, the Chesapeake Bay is in danger of losing a lot of federal funding. The cuts are part of President Trump's proposed 2020 budget. So if Congress approves that budget, money used to restore the bay would be cut by 90 percent from 73 million dollars to just seven. There's been a massive effort to clean up the bay over the past decade, but a lot of work still needs to be done. And many people who rely on the bay are worried, especially local oyster farmers. Funding for the Great Lakes is up on the chopping block as President Trump proposes to cut $270 million out of the $300 million for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. He'll likely push to make his tax cuts permanent. Experts say that's what's driving the deficit. Some of the issues that would affect middle class and poor Americans you sort of referred to earlier, there are cuts proposed in food stamps, there are cuts proposed on Medicare, on Medicaid, and the, the this spending reductions came, come at the same time that the tax cuts have been implemented. So the government itself is getting less revenue from taxes while also reducing spending, and that's going to hurt uh, the deficit and debt uh, over, over the next few years.